everybody, welcome back to Phil and Will's Songs and Stories. Well, we've got something for you today. Um, look at Will's instrument. Look what he's carrying there. That's a big lad there, Will. What is that? It is. It's a cello. It's a member of the strings family, along with the violin, the viola and the double bass. Um, it plays some quite high notes. And it plays some quite low notes. And uh, this very cello I've had since I was quite young, since I was about 13 years old, something like that. I've been playing the cello uh, since, I was, uh, since I was 10. So I'm very happy to be playing my cello today. Oh, what other instruments should we use? Well, I thought we, I hope we can Ooh. include this instrument, which is called a gong. Can you say that word? Gong. gong. So yes, cello and gong, and perhaps some other instruments too, Phil. Okay. Well, okay, I'm going to start the story now, and we'll come in when you think. All right? Okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, once upon a time, there was an emperor. Now, an emperor is bigger than the king, because an emperor rules many countries. But this emperor... All he cared about was clothes. Oh, I love my clothes. Clothes are very important. It's more important what's outside a person than, what, than what's inside a person. The emperor's wrong, isn't he? Well, it's very, very hard when you're rich and powerful not to be a bowsy. And he was ill-served. He was surrounded by all his courtiers who never told him he was wrong. And a true friend always tells you things you don't want to hear. So, anyway, the emperor, he was showing off, oh, look at my lovely trainers. Look at my lovely T-shirt. It costs more than a family earns in a year. That's how clever I am. But into the city, came two tricksters, two scallywags, two spiffs. They were called Nick and Dave. And Nick said, Divey, 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 I've got a very good idea. See that emperor there lives up in the palace on the hill. We're going to trick him because you cannot fool an honest man. And he's not an honest man. Oh, oh, really? Dave, uh, Dave what we're going to do? Well, uh, Nick, what we're going to do is we're going to make him a set of clothes. And we're going to sell him the clothes because he loves clothes. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. What do you mean? We don't know how to make clothes. We're not tailors. Oh, that's the trick, boy. We're going to pretend to make him pretend clothes. He'll fall for it. So, the two tricksters came up to the Emperor's court. Your Majesty, guess what? We is two tailors from another land. And we've got this very special material. Look at it. Look at it. But he wasn't holding anything at all. The Emperor looked. And then the trickster said, Listen, this is so good, this material. It's so expensive that... If you can see it, you're a wise man. But if you can't see it, you're an income Now, nobody wanted to be an income poop. The emperor didn't want to be an income poop, poop. So he said, oh, that's lovely. What a lovely color, blue, green, green, green. Oh, what a lovely color, green. Would you like us to make you a lovely suit out of these clothes? Go oh, feel it, your majesty. Feel it, touch it. Touch it. The emperor touched it. Oh, it's lovely and smooth. There wasn't anything there at all. Yes, yes, make me a set of clothes. How long is it going to take? Oh, about uh, three weeks. Oh, three weeks, really? Yeah, it's going to cost you about six thousand, six thousand. Oh, ten thousand, ten thousand. It's going to cost you ten thousand. Ten thousand pounds. Oh, that'll be lovely. Because if things are expensive, they've got more value. That's another silly thing the emperor believed. So the two tricksters, they got their material and they started to sew the material. Mm -hmm. 
used to look into the shop and some people used to say you know what they're um they're working very hard but i can't see what you're doing of course you can't see what they're doing that's because you're an income poop but i can see what they're doing because i'm a wise man in i boys of course you are you're really wise at the end of the time they came to the emperor with their clothes and they said, well, your majesty, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? There was nothing there. But the emperor said, oh, oh it's very good. It's very, very good. I, I like what you've done with the, the jacket. It's very fun. The trousers are very, very good. And all the courtiers clapped. Because they weren't friends with the emperor. A friend would tell him the truth. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Pay these two men. I'm going to change. He went behind a screen to change. And the two tricksters had it on their toes. Out of the city, counting their money. Well, the emperor went behind the screen. And he took all his real clothes off. And he put on his new clothes which were nothing at all. And he went behind the screen and said, I'm ready, everyone. Do you want to see me? Do you want to see how beautiful I am? And they said, yes, your majesty. And out he came. Ta-da! <laughs> Check it out, check it out, I'm incredible, check it out. What do you think, what do you think of behind? Do you think it fits nice and snug? Yes, <laughs> I know, I think everybody should see my beautiful new clothes. We'll have a parade, I want everybody in the city to see me in my beautiful clothes. And all the courtiers clapped and they arranged the parade. The day of the parade came. There was bunting, the smell of candy floss, the smell of burgers being flipped, and onions. The police were out there making sure the crowds were good-natured, and everybody was standing on the edge of the road watching the parade. There was a boy. He was a kind of a year two type of a boy. He was licking his lollipop. He was watching the parade. He looked up. Oh, elephants, elephants. I like the elephants, I like, uh, yeah, I like the elephant. That's a good elephant. Uh, uh. Horses, horses, I like the horses. Oh, I like the horses. Oh, look, soldiers, uh, they're all marching. Oh, I like the soldiers. Uh, uh, he looked at me, that's one. And then came the emperor. Everybody, look at me. What are my clothes? Oh, don't they fit me nice and snug? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? I'm the emperor. I'm the emperor. I'm the emperor. The boy, licking his lollipop, saw the emperor. lollipop so fast. Everyone looked at the boy. What are you talking about? Are you a nincompoop? And then they looked at the emperor. Yeah, he's probably... Oh. Actually, he hasn't got any clothes on. 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 The emperor's got no clothes on. The emperor's got no clothes on. The emperor's got no clothes on. Three cheers for him. Well, the emperor said, oh, what are they laughing at? What are they pointing at? Are they... Oh, 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 what? Oh, 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 oh. He turned round. 
he ran back to the palace and he was so ashamed he didn't show his face again because he's been tricked and of course those tricksters were right you can't trick an honest man and the emperor was not an honest man that's the end of the story <laughs> Well, my dear friends, um, I think that's time to say goodbye. Goodbye from Will, the music teacher. Goodbye from Phil, the storyteller. Bye. Bye.